Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net on C programming. In this, I have used a few character-based tests. We have included C type dot H. We have got a character variable C. I am getting it from the user. This is the construct of if statement. Okay, you can have if, then a condition, then the body of that, else. Again, you can have multiple if statements like this. Finally, there is one else part of it. So either the if statement can exist like this, if a condition, else something, or you can have multiple conditions coming one after the other, if, else, if, else. But at any point of time, if, and this portion is a must. You may not have else if or else portion. This is optional it need not be always be present. So, this portion is a must. So, you have if followed by a condition. This is a function is alpha and within brackets if you pass the character parameter, it will return true if this is an alphabet. Is digit if the C holds the value of a number 0 to 9 then this will return true. If this condition is true this portion is executed. So, if this condition is true, this portion is executed. If this condition is returning false, this condition is returning false, it comes over to this else portion and then it prints. This is a basic construct of if. But please remember, this portion is op uh, mandatory, but you need not have else if or else, it is only optional. Now, let us try to execute this. I make sure that we will test this portion, this portion, this portion. Now I run it once again. Now I am going to enter the value of x. x is an alphabet, so it prints alpha. Now I am going to do it again. I am going to enter 3. 3 is a digit because this is digit. It was not alphabet it comes over here, this becomes 2, it is executing this portion. Now third time I execute, this time I am going to give a comma, now it says punctuation because it has first tested this one, it was returning false, it came over here, it was false, then it comes over here. So this is a fundamental if condition along with some character testing in it. I hope this is clear. Now extending the same stuff into another pr uh, program with uh, integers. You can have the same thing instead of character. Suppose I have uh, integer 5, okay, sorry, integer x. This is a variable x. If I want to get the value of x from the user, you cannot use get cat, you need to use scanf. Scanf percentage d comma ampersand x. This is a syntax in C. You, you don't have a get in something like that. Scanf is a command to get the input from the standard input uh, that is a keyboard from the user. Percentage d is a format specifier. This denotes an integer. If you, can, you can use percentage s for string and the same way for floats and other stuff. And you need to pass, if it's an integer or any numeric variable, you need to pass always the address. Ampersand denotes, this is a variable name x, this ampersand denotes, you need to pass the address of it. So what I want to do is, if uh, x is greater than 10, I'm going to say printf greater than 10, okay? else printf less than 10 or say not greater okay so this is a simple if condition I am comparing with uh, a numeric variable previously we compared with the character variable now we compare with a numeric variable let us execute it it is waiting for my input I type 5 5 is not greater than 10, so it comes to that part, okay? Now, let me execute it once again. Let me enter 25. 
25 is greater than 10. So previously we did some character based testing. Now we are doing the numeric based testing. So if you want to compare, you can use uh, greater than, less than, less than or equal to, all those operators are available. But I want to compare equality. If x is equal to 10, remember in C language, don't use a single equal to in a condition. Equality is double equal to. If I want to compare whether x is equal to 10, use two equal to symbols, okay? Now I say equal to 10, not, not equal to 10, right? So this is a basic thing in C. You do not use a single equal to alone in an if, the, if condition. You need to always use uh, double equal to to make sure it is an equality condition. Now let us enter this. Now I am entering 8. 8 is not equal to 10. You and I know. Now I run it again. I enter 10. 10 is equal to 10. It satisfies now. So always if you are comparing equality condition, use this. This is called relational operator operation. So in relational operation, you can always use equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. If you want to use not equal to, use this exclamation mark and then this, this is not equal to. This exclamation mark is meant for not, negative conditions. Okay. So if you want to say not equal to, not, the exclamation mark and then equal to sign. I hope this is clear on the simple if then else condition. If you want to have multiple statements within if, all you need to do is put a curly brace over here and then put it over here. Suppose I want to have this printf statement and then I want to increment x, say x plus plus. So if you have a printf statement and then x plus two statements under the body of if, you need to use curly brace. If you do not use curly brace, then it will have a problem. Okay. So this is true for else part also. If you want to have multiple statements within else, use a curly brace. For a single statement, you don't need a curly brace. With this, we will stop here. In this session, we have gone through the character inputs, some basic character type checking, then the basic if, then else if, else conditions. How to read the input from the user for integers through scan of statements. Thank you.